I tested my might in Mortal Kombat against the Mortal Kombat 2021 film, and I barely passed. It, 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 it wasn't good. It was not a good film, guys. Hello everyone, I'm Oz Chris, and welcome to my review of Mortal Kombat, the 2021 adaptation of the video game series Mortal Kombat. And yeah, it was, in my opinion, not a good film. It really, it really wasn't. So the synopsis for this adaptation is that Shang Tsung uh, and the uh, the realm of Outworld has defeated the Earth realm nine out of ten times in the Mortal Kombat tournament, and they intend to conquer it. But Raiden amasses various champions for Earth realm to combat Shang Tsung and pretty much stop the uh, stop him from conquering uh, Earth realm. Essentially, that is the 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 bare bones basic of what the plot of this film is which i i assume because i'm not i'm not a fan of mortal Kombat. like i don't know every like intrinsic detail about every game like every piece of media that came out of it um so i'm very 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 uh, real casual when it comes to the mortal Kombat games but this sounds like the first essentially the plot of the first game and then also even like the first film I think the film was, yeah, it was pretty much very similar. That was the plot, because Shang Tsung was the, the antagonist in that film as well, or the main antagonist of that film. So let's talk about the characters first. Um, our lead protagonist is Cole Young, portrayed by Louis Tan, and he is not an interesting protagonist. I'm sorry, he's, uh, he's not interesting at all. And it doesn't help that probably... Lewis Tan is not a good actor in this. Um, I'm not particularly familiar with a lot of his work. I I had to even look up what he was in. He was he played Shatterstar in Deadpool two. Even then, I felt like he was like he did a better job as like Shatterstar than he did here as Cole Young. So Cole Young is a um, an original character for this film. I don't think they're in any of the video games, considering they. Doesn't seem like they even have a, a wiki page to themselves, whereas like every pretty much every other character does. Um, but yeah, the, the Cole Young is not a, a interesting protagonist. A lot of the line deliveries are a flat. Uh, not a lot of uh, emotional range with uh, Louis Tan's acting. Um, I did not care <laughs> for Cole or his story um, because. Spoilers. And I, I wouldn't even say it's a spoiler because it pr they pretty much yell it to you um, uh, that um, that Cole is related to to Scorpion. Um, I even had to double. I even had to double check because I thought it was like he had. Um, I thought Scorpion had two sons. And like, no, it turns out that it was a it was a daughter. So he's re he's distantly related. To Scorpion. I, I honestly thought because I kind of like I tried to pay attention to the film but it was just really hard because I just was not interested. I honestly thought that like Cole was actually Scorpion's son that was just transported to the future to hide him. But no it's just a like just seems to be a distant like a uh, like very down the line descendant of, of Scorpion. Of, of Hanzo uh, Hasashi. Um, so yes. Yeah, Cole was not an interesting protagonist, was not an interesting character. Um, then you have Sonya, Sonya Blade and Kano. I'm putting them together because um, because they try to set up a rival dynamic between the, between the two because I think it is a, it was supposed to be a callback to the games where kind of they have a history together. I think it was like Kano killed Sonya's partner. So she wants revenge for what Kano did. In this one, Kano is, uh, was already captured by Sonya, but it, he had, didn't really do anything, like, against her to, like, for her to hate, hate him. She just, um, oh, except for the, well, she was, well, for Sonya, Sonya is helping Jax find champions, because Jax has the, uh, has the tattoo, he's one of the champions, uh, but Sonya isn't. Um, and Kano killed one that they were looking for, so now Kano has the tattoo as well, so he's deemed a champion. Um, their whole rivalry was 
wasn't even really built up well because um, towards the end of the film where they have the actual Mortal Kombat, the tournament where they fight each other, um, she goes up against Kano and I could not care less. Like, there wasn't any real, like, anything built up for them. Just aside from the fact that, um, spoiler again, Kano betrays them. Wow, shocking. The character that's always usually uh, uh, portrayed as a antagonist betrayed the good guys. And the person that was also, like, really had no morals, he was only in it for the money. Like, wow, it's a big surprise, he betrayed them. Um... So Sonya's like character arc, I didn't really care care about hers. Also, I forgot to add, I feel like you could have done something else with like Sonya in the film because uh, Raiden makes a point uh, of the, and points out that Sonya does ha doesn't have the uh, like the dragon tattoo that the Mortal Kombat tattoo, so she can't train with them like to be a champion of El um, of Earthrealm, even though like like. Like, Cole's like, well, we need everyone we can, but, like, Raiden says, well, she's not a champion. She doesn't have the tattoo, so we're not going to train her. Like, whatever. I feel like you could have done... You actually could have done something with that, like, um... Her overcoming that, like, she, well, she's not deemed as a champion. She still wants to take part in this fight. Try to prove her worth to everyone. Like, it actually would have helped... Towards the end, when she has her fi the the final confrontation with Kano, that would have really like hammered it in because like Kano Kano kind of like in the film like um it's kind of portrayed that he feel he feels superior to her because um because he actually is a champion he has the tattoo, um so you really could have like really like delved into it like dude like the whole Kano like really push that whole Kano thinks he's superior because he has the champion mark he thinks he's much better than. Sonya because he has it but like Sonya is able to like overcome it despite not being a champion um and then spoilers she eventually does get the mark when she um when she defeats uh Kano so I think that would have been there would have been a much there would have been much more weight to that to her finally getting like the mark and she gets her own powers as well like and, like there's a lot you could have done with the character but it was just not there uh, same with Kano, didn't particularly care about him. And I will say about uh, Kano, how he's betrayed. Because I know Kano is, is Australian in the games. Having I had to look this up, he's from Australia. So it's like, okay, they at least got that right, that he's Australian. But like, I feel like they made him like, again, not. I don't know a lot about the games. I don't know if this, this was at least accurate to how like the character speaks in the game. But I feel like because he's Australian... They really went in with the whole Australian, ser you know, Australian swear a lot. You know, they say the C word a lot. They like to say fuck a lot. So let's have Kano just swear a lot. Just put the F word into every, every sentence he says. You know, fucking you fucking fuck something. Fuck you, Sonya Blade. Well, what the fuck is that? Fucking Mortal Kombat. Fuckity, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Do you guys get that Kano is Australian? <laughs> like... If that's the, actually how the character is portrayed in the games, then okay, they got, uh, I would say they at least got that right. But like, I don't know that. So I just felt like they really wanted to like hammer in that. Like, he's Australian. So they went with like stereotypical Australian. Um, then you come to Jax, who I'd say is honestly, why is Jax in this film? <laughs> like, he's just there to at least... He's there to direct Cole to Sonya, and then Jax gets his arms frozen off by Sub-Zero, and then he does nothing until, like, towards the end of the film, when he has, like, the robots, uh, robot arms, then he activates his Arcana, so they become proper robot arms, not these shit-looking, like, small-ass robot arms. Um, so, he, he was a, a, another useless character I didn't particularly care about. Jax, um, Liu Kang and Kung Lao, they were just kind of there as well, <laughs> um, uh, Raiden, just kind of there as well, honestly, a lot of these characters, they were just, I felt like they're just there, 
because they are in the video game. Like, that's it. There's, like, there's no weight to these characters. There's no, like, reason to, like, care about them, to hate them. They are just there because reference. And I'll talk about referencing, like, later on. Um, then you come to the main, anta uh, you, you come to the antagonist. Sub-Zero was okay, I guess. He was just, oh, I am bad guy. I am tough bad guy that won't be defeated until the end of the film. Like, he was okay, did a serv serviceable job. Um, Milena also did not care about... Milena is such a weird choice because she's from, like, the very little I know of Mortal Kombat... I almost said, I almost said something else. Uh, the very little I know about Mortal Kombat is that she is heavily tied to Katana because she's a clone. She's like a clone of Katana with, like, uh, DNA of like that the of like what was it Baraka's uh, species so that's why she has like the, she looks she looks like almost 100% like Katana aside from like the fucking monster mouth um the monster mouth here does also does not like spoiler does not appear until like the end like throughout the whole film is just the whole like you see like the, like the faint lines of like okay so like you see the lines of, like, where, like, the monster mouth will, like, come out of, but, like, it's just covered in, like, like, it's, I don't know if it's supposed to be, like, dried up blood or, like, burnt, like, a, like, burnt mouth, but it just looks terrible. It looks so bad. Um, Cabal, I don't care about Cabal either. Uh, and that's, that's the weird thing, because having looked up Cabal in, like, the video games, like, when, like, in the first game, and for, like, most of the game, and he's always shown as, like, as a good guy. He's a character that that changes allegiances, but, like, in, like, the, I believe, like, the game that he, like, debuts in, he, he sided, he sided with Raiden. So he's supposed to be a good, he's supposed to be a good guy, and he's supposed to be, like, the kind of the opposite to Kano, because they have the shared, at least with the reboot timeline, they have the shared history of both no, being with the um being part of the black dragon so I th it's a bit weird that they would start him off as the antagonist in this honestly i feel like um they should have just swapped they honestly should have just swapped cabal and kano because then because then then you no know, with some tweaking you can give still give kano the similar backstory for sonya where sh he killed her partner and um, and now he's now he's kind of re uh, and that also gives Sonya a reason to wanting to be part of like uh, the Mortal Kombat to get her revenge against Kano, and then you could have Cabal there to help her because Cabal uh, has his own ties to Kano as well, uh, wants to bring him in as well, maybe get his revenge for something. Who knows? Um, there's a lot of things you just could have done much better with this and they decided not to uh so cabal was just kind of there same as like the other villains reiko was just kind of pointless <laughs> goro was just kind of like, there as well honestly shang Tsung, who's supposed to be the main antagonist is not intimidating he's not a good he is not a good villain in this film like he is just in the background he he only gets uh one kill and that's it He's not threatening. Like, like this is supposed to be the guy whose whose realm has won nine out of ten times. He's supposed to be this great big threat that you no know, Raiden has to gather all of these champions. The majority don't have any training, so they are like rushing to get them like ready for this fight as like the last ditch effort to like uh, save Earth realm from being conquered by Outworld, and like. That's the, that's, he's the villain? Like, like, he wasn't intimidating at all. Like, it, there was nothing about him that screamed, like, he's, like, the ult, or, like, he's, like, the, of, at least of this film, uh, for, from what we've seen, of, like, the law that they set up in this film, like, he is the ultimate threat. He's the big bad. Like, he's the person we have to stop. Like, we have to make sure that, no, if he, he cannot win, because if he wins game over like we have lost there's no coming back from this and it just 
Like, he's just there. Like, with every other character, he is just there because he's in the video game. Like, there's, there's nothing about him that makes him, like, in this film, like, an interesting villain or an intimidating villain. Like, a reason to, like, hate him. Aside from, like, killing one of the characters. Um... Yeah, like, honestly, but, like, the characters, it just... They weren't interesting. Like, overall, the characters just weren't interesting in this film, so there was nothing... There was nothing in there to, like, really, like, care about why you should like them, why you should feel hurt that, like, something bad happened to them, or you've lost one of the characters, why you should hate some of these characters. Like, there was... It didn't even have the bare-bones basic for, like, storytelling. Um... The story itself is just very generic, like, okay, I've kind of seen this before in literally the first Mortal Kombat film, <laughs> so it wasn't even anything original, so, eh, characters, eh, yeah, the filming was, the film itself wasn't particularly good either, I will say, like, a lot of the character int introductions weren't particularly good, like, and there was something about them that was off. So they would introduce a character... So the main two that this really happened with is with Reptile and Kung Lao. So they would introduce the character. We would already see the character. And then afterwards, then they would have like the grand... Kind of like the grand entrance is like, here they are. This is the character. Like, for instance, with like Kung Lao, we see him appear. A little, a little bit of stuff happens. And then there's just like, who's this guy? Then he does like, like this grand entrance, like music plays in the background. It's supposed to be like, like pumped up, pump you up. Like, yeah, this is, you know, this character, this is Kung Lao. And he's like, like, I am Kung Lao. And I'm just like, you were already in, you were already introduced. So this music, <laughs> this music accompanying like you saying like who you are is so out of place. And this also happens with Reptile. So... Uh, so in the film uh, Cole, Sonya and Kano are attacked by Reptile but Reptile doesn't appear He's, uh, Reptile is, invi is camouflaged and invisible um, and is attacking them so they can't see uh, where Reptile is and then it goes to a shot of like of like Reptile like decloaking himself uh, like eating one of the knives that um, he was stabbed with and, like, and melting it so you see that like he has like uh, acidic saliva um, and, but then afterwards when Kano breaks out of like his chains and fights back and stabs a flare into Reptile so you can actually like so that they could all see where Reptile is so they can probably fight him then it does the whole like like they, they Reptile kind of like sta stays in one spot and does like the whole slow like kind of like decloaking and just like it's like ah I'm Reptile Reptile's here like st something like that the grand like reveal of like this is what this invisible foe looks like but we've already saw Reptile decloaked not invisible so that was out of place as well it's like you could have just like kept him invisible to that entire point until until the point where he gets stabbed by Kano and has a, that stabbed a flare into him. Then you do the whole, he takes away, he doesn't become invisible, he becomes visible, and then you see it, you see this monster. That's how you should have done it. Like, I, I don't, I'm not even like an expert in like editing, like shot compositions and stuff like that, but like, even I knew that that could have been done like that, handled much better. Oh. Uh, in, in my opinion, yeah, like, yeah, like, the, it's like, the, the like, uh, like, overall, it's, like, hard to say, there wasn't a lot with this film, so I feel like I am just repeating myself, it's just, like, a lot of characters are just not interesting, I mean, Scorpion was, Scorpion was okay, although I feel like they should have introduce him as like a recurring like a character that just re re reoccurs in like the background because the whole like similar with uh, in, like in the video games Scorpion wants his revenge against Sub-Zero uh, for killing for killing his uh, killing his clan and his family uh, and then also killing him himself and you, Raiden, Raiden does do does make the mention of like uh, Scorpion is in hell 
and all he wants is re is revenge. And then at near the end of the film, you know, the final fight against you know Cole and Sub Zero, Scorpion appears. Yeah, we see saw it in the trailer. Yeah, Scorpion appears to fight Sub Zero. I feel like yeah, you could have had Scorpion like kind of like like slightly reoccur without the within the film like trying to search for Sub-Zero like maybe like he arrives at, like at places Sub-Zero was at and kind of like um uh like uh interferes with the uh with with the other characters because like having read read up Scorpion like the character is neutral and will just work with whoever uh he deems will help him get his revenge whether it be like one of the good guys whether it be the bad guys or sometimes he'll just be manipulated and he won't know it uh but he'll be manipulated by certain people they say oh yeah we're definitely going to help you with your revenge or that like lying or something like you know Quan Chi like that character manipulating Scorpion like you could have had something like that where um um uh, like he appears like in places where Sub-Zero was like encounters these characters maybe thinks that they're working for them or working alongside Sub-Zero or whatever or like they think that he's working with uh, Sub-Zero because the, his appearance is like somewhat similar to Sub-Zero so they like so just you know mistaken mis mistaken identity uh, misinterpreting whatever stuff like that you could have had like to build it up and then you have then you bring it, then you fully go in on like Scorpion is here and he's finally found Sub-Zero and he's going to go get his revenge. Like stuff, something like that. I would have liked something like that uh, to happen. Um, and it, now let's go to the references because in, um, I would say in one of like the critical responses, uh, uh, James Marsh of the South China Morning Post gave a positive review saying director Simon McQuo McQuoid uh, understands and honors the film's video game origins including memorable lines of dialogue and signature fight moves throughout which honestly sounds like the equivalent of this famous red letter media clip I clapped I clapped when I saw it it really does sound like like yeah like oh my god they they said the thing from the video game that it's so good it's so good um like, I guess, like, there are some kind of gory kills in the film. Like, when it comes to, like, like when it actually, like, comes to, like, killing a character, they don't shy away. It's not like, uh, it's not like they just, like, punch him really, really hard and, like, they're dead. Like, you know, you get people getting, like, cut, you get, like, char a, char a character getting cut in half. Um, you get, like, someone's head crushed or something like, like a hole, like, blasted through their stomach. And st stuff like that, like, it, it doesn't shy away from, like, the, the goriness of Mortal Kombat. So I'll give it that. It at least has that. But, like, it's like, oh, look, they said a line. That means the film is good. <laughs> they said, test your mind. I remember that. That's in, that's in the song. That's in the song for Mortal Kombat. I remember that. Wow. 10 out of 10. <laughs> because it, there are, like, ha there are definitely a lot of references to like character moves um and uh also have various other characters so there are references to like katana her uh her fans appear in like raiden's temple um uh you have like statues of like shao khan then you have like characters doing certain moves so like uh luke kang does like that leg sweep move like like literally like as it as a, like he he re repeatedly spams it against Kano to like beat him um and you have like uh and then also doing like that flying like kick attack he does I don't know I don't know the name of it um but it does that you know so they do have like you know the homages references to like certain moves and all that um but I don't care I feel like those are things you have to put in because it's Mortal Kombat. It's like, it's one of like the most iconic things about the video games are like, you know, fatality or like all the, like the moves and you know, the actual fatality moves themselves and stuff like that. The certain lines, I feel like, yeah, you, when you make a Mortal Kombat film, you, you kind of have to have those, 
those things in there but having those things in there don't make it like good it doesn't warrant a, like a positive film just because they put something that was in the video game in the film like <laughs> and and then and now I'm going to talk about costume design I don't like <laughs> A lot of the costumes. Um, honestly, Cole's costume is probably the worst design in this film. It honestly, it does not look good. It is not a good costume at all. Um, I don't know why, like, a lot of, like... I feel like they've taken, like, the Snyder approach. With just, like, oh, we can't have, like, the actual proper colours of, like, the source material. So let's make it dark. Make it gritty. Make it like a darker shade. Like, like with Sub-Zero, because we know that, you know, Bihan, the original Sub-Zero, eventually becomes Noob Sabot. Noob, Noob Sabot has the all black. So, with like the design, with the colouring of Sub-Zero in the film, I think that's what they were going for, is that homaging that he become, that he will, that, well, at least in the video games, he becomes Noob Sabot. Um, the end of the film very much hints that he will become Noob Sabot. Um, but I feel like you should have just given, like, the the actual armor itself, give it the actual proper, like, blue coloring, because, like, in the fight, in the final fight against when he's fighting Scorpion and Cole, like, he takes the armor off so that it shows it's just, like, underneath it's just, like, the whole, like, full, like, black clothing and then that you could just do like oh get it guys like you know he's gonna become noob saber because he's gonna lose the fight and he's gonna be brought back from the dead later on if we do another film as noob saber noob, noob saber wears all black get it like that w you could have done something like that but like i mean the outfit i think the 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 overall design they're not bad it's just very lacking in a like, color um like everyone else's, co yeah, everyone else's costumes were. They weren't particularly the best. They, they, they honestly really needed the color. Cause like, <laughs> like I don't know. It just, I don't, I just don't like the the kind of the Zack Snyder esque approach when it comes to costume design, where it's just like oh, it needs to be a darker tone of like the source material. Um, like there's nothing worked. Like, you could still do a serious... I feel like you could still do, like, a somewhat kind of serious action film. But, like, everyone's in, like, <laughs> the really, like, bright colours. Like, I know people would be like, oh, that, that, that looks funny. But, like, I I'd still think you could still do something like that. Um, don't shy away from colours. There's nothing wrong with the colouring of, like, the outfits. So the outfits were, like, they range from, like, okay-ish to just downright terrible. Um, but yeah, like overall with the, uh, overall with the film, it's not, it's not good. Not even the action scenes. Like a, a, a lot of people are saying, like, oh no, the action scenes are good. Like, you know, it, it may not be like the, it's not, may, may, may not be like the best storytelling in existence, but like the action is good. That's what you come for, for like Mortal Kombat, you know, aside from like fatality, you know, the lines or all these you can't also come from the action, you know, the good action. That was also average. Uh, honestly, the the only good one was probably this Sub Zero versus Scorpion one uh, at the end. But I don't. That only had like good moments. Like the fight overall was just okay. Like a lot of all the fights were just okay. They were just okay, but they're not like the great. They're not great fights like a lot of people were saying. Like, oh no, they're really good. They're really great fights. They weren't. They weren't. In my opinion, they were just really average fights, and just some had some highlights, which is like, okay, that looked cool. You know, that looked cool, but it doesn't save the entire fight. <laughs> so yeah, like the fights weren't good either. So honestly, if I were to rate this, I would give this a. 2 out of 5, a below average, it is a below average film, um, there has been talks of maybe sequels, or a, a Johnny Cage standalone film, because they reference, and they heavily, like, make, they make a lot of references to Johnny Cage, well, towards the end, I mean, like, 
obviously. But um, I don't know. I I honestly don't want to see any more from the from this team. It wasn't good. It was not a good film, in my opinion. This Mortal Mortal Kombat twenty twenty one. No, I feel like you need someone that like not only understands like what people like about the game, but can still like make a good story out of it as well. Because I feel like a lot of people would just be like, oh, it's just it's just fighting. Mortal Kombat is just fighting. But no, there is a story to that. You gotta, you also gotta make sure, like, I like care about the characters, and I cared about none of these characters. Like, at all. Like, I don't care. <laughs> which, is, which is really bad. But you want people to be... You want people to care about the characters so they can be invested in the story. If I don't care about the, care about the characters, I'm not invested in the story either. It doesn't help that the story is very, like, bare-bones basic. It's just a very average story. That's what, honestly, the film should just be called Average Combat. <laughs> mortal Average? Average Mortal Combat? Like, yeah, the, overall, yeah, it's an average to below average film. So that was my review, I guess, my thoughts on Mortal Kombat 2021. Uh, what do you think? Do you agree with what I said? Do you disagree with what I said? Um, did you also dislike the film? Or if you like the film, what did you... What did you find interesting about the film, Mom? You're allowed to have your own opinions, even if I disagree with them. <laughs> even if I think you're wrong. You're allowed to have those opinions. Um, but that is it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you liked it, leave a like. Or if you disliked it, dislike it. Um, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can follow me on... Well, you can check me out on Twitch. You can give me a definitely a follow over there. Or you can check me out on the podcast I do with my buddy Corrupt. Um, but that's it. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh yeah, one th one thing. I will say I will give a positive to this film. Something that it definitely has a, a, that does something better than the first Mortal Kombat film, the Paul W.S. Anderson one. When flawless victory is said and used, it actually was a flawless victory. It was not used at every single fight. There. You did something good, Mortal Kombat 2021. The only thing I'm going to give you, probably. Yeah. Bye.